Seeing you both together on screen in Rocky or Rani was a very different experience. You also got a taste of what being on the big screen is like. I have never seen myself on the big screen. Just to have seen it only was like, oh, oh, <laughs> this is real. It's like it's a really big face on yeah. the big screen. So I was very, very excited, hmm. and uh, there is hunger. Like, uh, how has Arjit changed as an actor, as a person? Har saal badal jaate hai. Meri personality har saal change ho jaati hai. The nervousness has reduced. He was such a nervous person. People met me to narrate me a story. Is a yeah. very recent change that I have experienced in my career. It was not so earlier. I would uh, the first show that came as an offer to me. In real life, have you faced that chatter or the social pressure of getting married? I don't feel. People only feel. <laughs> I think it's a them problem. It's not a free problem. Uh, when people still call it regressive, when people still kind of uh, put it down, does it hurt you? Does it dishearten you as a part of the industry? People who call all of all the TV shows mm. regressive are not the people who are watching mm. all the TV yeah. shows. To them, the only thing that reaches them are the memes, mm. right? So. Uh, from that, the picture that they get, it's only regression. Yeah. What is that one thing that you love and one thing that you tolerate about Arjit? He would just come in the morning and scare <laughs> me, and I used to live perpetually in fear that he will come from anywhere and scare me. Yeah. My next guest has been charming the audience for a long time on screen, and people remember her for several of her iconic roles. But for me, she will always be the person I watched in Dhoom Machao Dhoom, and since then she has always had a place in my heart and. Uh, I feel very excited today because this is our first interaction ever, and uh, it might not come across. But uh, let me just tell you, this is very special for me because I've actually grown up on Dhoom Machao Dhoom, and uh, uh, it's very nostalgic for me to be sitting in her company as we are here to take a glimpse into her new show. Kaise mujhe tum mil gaye? So, firstly, Sriti, welcome to Bollywood Bubble. Thank you so much for and, having me. Uh, I have to say. The or the positivity that you bring, na, I must say that is the most uh, appealing thing about you. You've you made me feel so so very special. <laughs> but you are. You deserve to feel also special. But firstly, I have to ask. I ask this Arjit also that uh, getting to work with your best friend opposite yes. him because you have worked before, but yeah. it was not opposite each other. But uh -huh. this time you are getting that chance, and we got a glimpse of it already in uh -huh. July this year. Uh -huh. uh, so firstly, how has been the experience of it all? Because having your best friend on set. Oh my God! I I uh, so when when we, uh, when we found out when I found out that he mm. is uh, uh, playing Virat, I I was of course pleasantly surprised and I was very happy about it. Mm. But you don't realize how uh, fortunate this mm. coming together with someone you're so close to is yeah. till you start working together because the sense of comfort in even like I'm not a very expressive person even if I'm like I'm not I'm disturbed or I'm tired or something is bothering me I will not go and say I'll just go to my van and crib so yeah. he's there and he will understand that you know she's not okay <laughs> so he's told me a few times that you know why don't you talk about it and mm -hmm. so that sense of comfort is just unparalleled I have yeah. never felt that in my career ever yeah and uh, I think uh, I was just telling him also this ki uh, Karan Johar promoted this show even before this show came into existence. <laughs> like seeing you both together on screen in Rocky Horror, it was a very different experience. You also got a taste of what being on the big screen is like. Did that give you a little hunger of being there a lot more? Um, actually, I was uh, just living it uh, yeah. for the first time, so I was yeah. taking it all in. Also, it's mm. just a few uh, seconds, but yeah. just to, I've never seen myself on the big screen. Just to have seen it only was like oh oh this is real it's like it's a really big face on yeah. the big screen so I was very very excited hmm. and uh, there is hunger there is of course hunger uh, and I hope uh, someday in future it happens that uh, an opportunity comes by where uh, I get the opportunity to act in a film which gets released in theaters and all <laughs> that I hope that happens but this was lovely to have happened. Yeah, but from Kum Kum to here, like, uh, how has Arjit changed as an actor, as a person? Because you have seen uh, him grow. Yeah, yeah, yes, and he has seen me grow and change. Yeah. Main har saal badal jaate hai. <laughs> Meri personality har saal change ho jaati hai. He's uh, seen that as well. Uh, he's become like he's become such a good and responsible professional. Main to matlab hmm. as a person, to of course we've seen each other a yeah. lot. But as a professional, he's become so responsible and. Uh, like he's always on time. He's mm. good with his script. He's present yeah. in scenes. Mm. All that has become the nervousness has reduced. He was such mm. a nervous person as a younger mm. uh, uh, person. Ab, uh, nervous nahi. He's more mm. sure of what he yeah. wants to do. Uh, 
so yeah it's it's uh, it's very different and i had not seen mm-hmm. him in a professional space for like 5 7 years mm-hmm. now so to see that and then to see this is mm-hmm. such a pleasant treat i yeah. love it and like uh, <clears throat> you have been a part of such poignant uh, topics that have dealt uh, in the shows mm-hmm. beat sobhagivati beat balika you have always given voice to such stories how important does it become for you to be associated to stories that gave out a poignant message as an artist because we have people who still call tv regressive and whereas you are here who is actually being that voice of change being the face to shows that are actually trying to bring about a change um it uh, i'd be lying if i tell you that it was intentional uh, for the longest time i was doing the first show that came my way or the mm. first audition that i would get through right because mm. uh one was not in a position to have mm. the privilege of making choices yeah. that people are coming with offers or mm. um uh, that people met me to g- narrate me a story is a yeah. very recent change that i have experienced mm. in my career it was not so earlier yeah. i would uh the first show that came as an offer to me was kumkum bhagya mm. that i did not audition for usse mm. pehle everything i auditioned and tested and whatever was the first mm. job offer i got through uh, was the show i ended up doing to wo hota tha but yes i have been fortunate to have been part of scripts that were talking mm. about important things i i have had the privilege of uh, playing a mentally unstable person with someone suffering from split personality i have played Uh, Ganga mm. in Balika Vadhu uh, who was mm. a child bride and mm. was and then Janvi who was a victim of uh, domestic so, violence yeah. it becomes um, however i do believe that it becomes uh, it comes with a lot of responsibility yeah. uh, when you are telling mm. such a story however coming to kaise mujhe tum mil gaye uh, that there is a this instrument yeah. of uh, or a way of storytelling which is called show don't tell mm. for uh, Uh, the example is that i could tell you hmm. that uh, akash i'm feeling very sad hmm. or i could just tell you you know i don't feel like doing anything hmm. today i have not eaten anything yeah. i couldn't sleep now you know you're sad i showed you hmm. that i'm sad i didn't tell you yeah. so kaise mujhe tum mil gaye is like that look hmm. it's not uh, it's the way that amruta leads her life yeah. that will show you that she is an independent mind hmm. she will not always keep reiterating ki main independent hu main hmm. independent hu we'll show you that she yeah. wakes up and she does a job her i of course wants her to get married yeah. but she will go and meet boys and all hmm. but she'll marry she'll get married when she yeah. wants to so it's more show don't tell than yeah. just telling people yeah. and i love that in the trailer also like it's not in the way ki main shaadi tabhi karungi jab hmm. no it's very sweetly said <laughs> it's very like inherent it's very implicit it's, it's not going out it's there it's screaming yeah. yeah but in real life have you faced that chatter or the social pressure of getting married or from people from your family from I, relatives and all i don't feel people hmm. only feel <laughs> <laughs> i think it's right. a them problem it's not a me problem uh. and fortunately my parents don't pressurize hmm. and i think they have a sense that yeah. uh that is the ancient thought that you're settled hmm. once you're married but yeah. i'm very settled in my life yeah. i've created this life for myself which is very comfortable and so yeah, i feel very settled by myself true and uh, so yeah, i don't feel that pressure yeah. at all yeah and you should not because i follow that same <laughs> pattern i i i don't get it my parents are very clear i'm not I never going to get married and it's very clear ah, with chill, them yeah it's yeah not. they they should be but uh, you have been a part of the television industry throughout its uh for a long time you have seen its evolution as well mm. when people still call it regressive when people still kind of uh, put it down does it hurt you does it dishearten you as a part of the industry as a younger person it might have mm. but uh, now it doesn't mm. uh because also there uh, uh people who call all of all the tv shows mm. regressive are not the people who are watching mm. all the tv yeah. shows right these are the people who have and i also understand that you cannot force someone to yeah. watch choose their kind of entertainment yeah. you don't relate to it you don't watch it yeah. so to them the only thing that reaches them are the memes Hmm. right so right. Uh, from that the picture that they get it's only regression yeah. and uh, it's okay if you don't know him matlab hmm. i cannot uh, expect validation hmm. from someone who's cho- hmm. not choosing this yeah. entertainment and it's okay you watch something else hmm. it's okay so i don't take offense hmm. to it i i think our world uh, our work is uh, celebrated hmm. enough as well we are here talking yeah. there is a room full of people <laughs> who want to know more about yeah. this show so uh, that uh, love and validation oh. supersedes these other True. things 
before closing i have to ask what is that one thing that you love and one thing that you tolerate about arjit because since you are such uh, good friends and now uh, working okay. also i uh, the one thing that i love about him hmm. is uh, the fact that uh, so we are very different people hmm. like as people we are really different yeah. that the uh, the fact that he accommodates yeah uh, someone who is so different from him in his hmm. life the one thing i tolerate about him is that he i don't know why he wants he has this flair for jump scares <laughs> like he just appear from someone uh, somewhere and wanting to uh, want to scare you uh, there was a time during mm. lockdown uh, for a month and a half mm. a month and a half we were living in goa yeah. together mm. and i was just uh, so i am an early riser he wakes up really late <laughs> and i would like come out of my room mm. and check whether he's woken up and then go down the hall mm. because his room used to be locked he's we in the other room and he would just come in the morning and scare me and i used to live perpetually in fear ki kahi se bhi aayega aur mujhe dara dega yeah. so that's the one thing i tolerate yeah. about him yeah. and lastly i would just say that uh, uh, you got to taste the big screen through karan johar a yeah. filmmaker like him mm. after getting that taste do you uh, are there more offers coming that way or firstly how was that experience of working with a filmmaker like him it was lovely it was one day of shoot uh, so i haven't really got it in a taste taste because mm. i was called uh, in the capacity of mm. what the work that i have done like yeah. as uh, someone who is uh, mm. done television work yeah. and everyone else in that mm. ad was in that capacity so mm. i have still not played a character mm. so to say on big screen i have still not experienced uh, working on a script where i know where it ends mm. i have had uh, i yeah. haven't had that luxury yeah. uh, so i'd love to do that mm. and i haven't got the taste of it uh, i it's uh, still a mystery to me uh, um, it's still the taste of fruit that i haven't mm. had and i'd love <laughs> yeah. to do that once in a while yeah life. and i hope it happens soon and i'm Thank sure you. it's going to happen Thank soon but so. for now we are very excited for this show and i'm sure you and arjit together will create yeah. magic on screen because you do that off screen already <laughs> so thank you so much for giving thank me this you. time first interaction uh, i hope the second one is a much bigger one okay. we do we talk at length but hope you had a good time i thank had you an amazing so time looking forward to our next interaction thank you so much. thank you thank you so much hi this is ritisha you're watching me on bollywood babu